jobs back home and build affordable housing. Now he's running for the Senate. Our economy, our democracy, our planet, this is why we fight. I'm Adam Schiff, and I approve this message. I'm Sherry. I'm John. I'm a pharmacist. As we were starting to age, it's like, well, how can we help our cognitive abilities? We saw Prevagen. I did read the clinical study and went ahead and gave it a try. I feel that Prevagen is helping me with uh, overall clarity. And as a pharmacist, I've recommended it to not only just customers, but also to friends and family as a safe product to try. Prevagen, at stores everywhere without a prescription. Sometimes it takes a different approach. Okay, that's Mrs. Johnson, right? Great. To see the possibilities all around you. Ten. You gonna have a big birthday party? Right. You feeling okay? With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath format, you can earn your nursing degree without putting life on hold. Imagine your future differently with Capella University. Watch Off the Clock, today at 2 on KTLA 5. Good morning, I'm Lena Bovian, live here in Adelanto. Coming up next, we are awaiting an update from the Sheriff's Department regarding that gruesome story we brought to you yesterday. Six people found dead in the middle of the desert. That's next. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. A San Fernando Valley drug ring busted by federal authorities where authorities found a stash of illegal and potentially dangerous street drugs. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. If you're planning on applying for the FAFSA this year, you'll notice a lot of changes that were just rolled out. We're gonna have an expert to help guide you through the new forms and tell you what you need to know. I'm Eric Spillman in Inglewood. The LA Chargers making a giant splash with the man they've hired to be their new head coach. You may have heard of them. What the fans are saying coming up live. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin, new here at 10 o'clock. What are the fans saying about a new movie with Ben Affleck and Matt Damon working together again? We'll talk about that. And uh, troubled times for Taylor Swift fans. They're upset about some new problems uh, Taylor's confronting. We'll talk about those coming up. And you can see in the weather this morning, Eric Spillman starting out with a jacket. It was kind of gloomy out there. Now all of a sudden the sun is out and things are going to be warming up. And we're going to uh, be in store for a beautiful looking weekend. Most areas, the temperature is peaking on Saturday and Sunday. 63 coastal today. Downtown Los Angeles, 66, 69 in the San Fernando Valley, 62 in the high desert, Inland Empire, 62 degrees, and Orange County Inland all the way up to 66 degrees. Frank, back to you. And we begin this hour with developing news. The LAPD investigating the cause of a crash that left a Mercedes Maybach destroyed on LA's west side. This happened around 1 a.m. near Olympic Boulevard and Overland Avenue. We're told at least two cars were involved. One driver had to be extricated from one of the vehicles. They were taken to the hospital in critical condition. The other driver was not injured. It's not clear whether anyone was driving impaired or if speed was a factor in this crash. Authorities in San Bernardino County are on the hunt this morning for the suspect or suspects linked to the brutal killing of six people in the high desert. We're also awaiting details on the victim's identities. KTLA Zelina Bovian live now in Adelanto with the latest on the investigation. Alina, good morning. Jess, good morning. Well, all this started Tuesday around 8.30 when sheriff's deputies made this gruesome discovery and they've been investigating since this morning. We're hoping that we'll finally get an update in reference to a suspect or suspects in this case and also if the victims have been identified and what the motive was behind this horrible incident. Now, take a look at this video. As I mentioned, the sheriff's department responding to this due to a wellness call, but once they arrived, they made the discovery in this very remote area. Six bodies scattered in the middle of the desert. Some of the bodies burned. Deputies initially located five of the victims, and then the sixth victim was found hundreds of feet away from the initial crime scene. So far, no information has been given out in reference to a suspect, not even the motive or the victims. Investigators yesterday also combing through two vehicles parked near the scene on Shadow Mountain Road. A white van and also a dark blue SUV riddled with bullet holes. 
Dozens of evidence markers dotting the ground, as you can see in this video here, believed to be shell casings. This area, a very remote part of town. But to give you a better idea, just take a look at this map. It is the intersection of Lessing Avenue and Shadow Mountain Road, just off of Highway 395, about 12 miles north of Victorville. Certainly by looking at the number of people involved and the way and how gruesome they were not only killed but then set on fire, you know, this has the, the some of the earmarks of kind of a gangland style slaying. It could be gang related. It could be cartel related. It's going to be heartbreaking no matter what the situation is, what they discover out there as far as the circumstances surrounding it. Now, as you heard, there are several theories about the circumstances regarding this case, but the Sheriff's Department is expected to give an update sometime later today. I'm Lena Bergen reporting live here in Adelanto, KTLA 5 News. Alina, thank you. Federal agents have busted up what they say is a major drug distribution ring in the San Fernando Valley. The ATF, along with the DEA and LAPD, all serve search warrants.